It's so incredible to stand at this top at Motin during midnight sun. Welcome back to another episode on this Lofoten road trip series. This time we are now in Westerol and it's located next to Lofoten. And I'm going to show you some incredible shots about the midnight sun and the hikes here in this local area. This is also something I never did. I never went out of my comfort zone due to work with a lot of overtime. So finally, I stayed awake long nights, long days, including driving and hiking for doing this amazing shot. So stay tuned to find out. It's a really nice lake. I want to start fishing, but there are no cell phone connections and I have to pay online for getting the fishing cart. It costs uh, nine euros for two persons. So I have to walk all the way back again. <laughs> I don't want to move a car, so it was now really nice parked and it's a really nice forest road here. Yes, finally I made it, standing in the middle of nowhere, as you see. <laughs> Here you see, got the fish, really nice size. I catch one fish at the first spot, but I see about 100 meters more into the lake from the shore towards the mountain where there's a lot of fish jumping. So we'll go much more closer. Did you ever been lake fishing in Norway? It's really fun. We're not so big, but it's more adventure-like compared to sea fishing and you don't need a boat you just buy a fishing cord uh, mostly online and they have sometimes boxes where you can put some money i think so uh, you should give it a try at least two fish but it's better than nothing we have at least something to eat for today how was fishing for you? Not, not bad. <laughs> I mean, at least, at least we caught like one, uh, two fishes. That's, at least we caught two fishes. That's good enough. Yeah, better than better than, than nothing. You've been so hungry that we had to stop nearby to some cell phone coverage, and we are frying salmon at the moment. This cooking with you and down below there's a really nice beach I'm going to show you soon. Okay, this is a special technique to get the meat out of this fish. This is what we catch earlier today. And you just open up. And here you have a meat. Hmm. It's really nice and soft and fresh. The van life and it's cleaning dishes. Like everybody like it, I guess. <laughs> so so we have two kinds of whale meat. This one was bought in Westerolen. And this main meat, whale meat, is bought in Lofoten. This is more red and this is more black. Actually, don't know why it is like this, but both are smoked and dried. Oh, they, are, they are only smoked. And they taste actually different. This is very, really salty, soft and has a little bit consistent like uh, chewy gum but on a good positive way and this here from Lofoten it's actually a similar taste it's also salty it's more hard but it's not a big difference in taste I have to say If 
finally some coffee after many hours since we left home. Just have a look. Suddenly we decided to change our plans, so we are heading to Murtinden for a midnight sun hike. I'm really interested how it will be. For me it's the first time and for him it's also the first time. We are now at the southwest side of the mountain. There's a small parking, park, park. There's a small parking lot and a pretty bad road. <laughs> it was really bumpy to get here. <laughs> As you've seen in the footage, I'm a little bit unsure what I have to pack. It's really uncertain if it will be a lot of wind and cold. I put a wind block and something warm. Plus I have this sleeve and only a t-shirt un underneath. We will see how it will go. I have to remember where the path was. <laughs> it was really long time ago since my last time I've been here. So I have to figure out where it was, but it shouldn't be a problem to find. Are you excited for the hike? <laughs> should be like this. Oh, where should we go? Luckily we can read, so we don't go to Hölvika. We need to go to Mutin. So it's this way. If you ask me, Hölvika beach is much more nicer compared to Qualvika beach in Lofoten on the hike to Rieten. I also like Mutin, it's much more better than Rieten. It's not only because I, I live in Westerholm, it's I, after. Uh, if you ask me, after my opinion, I like it much more the Motin hike compared to Rieten. It's because of the view we have on Motin and the mountain ridge, or how you call it, which is going towards the sea. It's really stunning. The first part is quite challenging, but if you made it, it's just about 15 minutes, I guess. We're soon up and already here you have a really nice view about some beaches. Shit! Oh my god! What do you think? Here you have a nice beach. Over there is the top. Wow, this view is just beautiful. Look at this. Now we are half hour into the hike. The first 30 minutes are a little bit challenging. It's going really steep. But after that, you get rewarded with stunning views in all directions in 360 degrees. You have a beach down below. You have a mighty Motinten peak at the end of this hike. And you have some other small peaks behind you to the left and right. So this, this part is really flat to go. It's easy. It's quite chill. And when you have a little bit to climb uh, the last 20 minutes, before you reach the top of Motin. So we have to reach this top and go all the way here and around to this trail. We walk now 72 minutes, about three and a half kilometers nearly. So we have come nearly to the top. As you see, we started from this opening there over the ridge. I went all the way around. This is probably a bit longer, but it's with much more stunning views with a beach all the way along. So it's really enjoying, rewarding hike. It's only a few meters left, it's a warm. And we are some midnight sun. We have now nearly half past 12. It's really nice and it's actually the first time I'm hiking at Motinten during midnight sun season. It's definitely worth it. Stay up late night. The sun will be even better after one o'clock. I have to say this view is just amazing 
and it's all the hard work worth it to hike up this long journey and drive all the way to Andoya to see this amazing midnight sun. We have a big contrast from winter that the sun is not going over the horizon and during the summer season 24 hours daylight and it's it's unbelievable you should experience this on your own so now i'm just waiting that the sun is getting a little bit more lower for getting more colors Now it's half past two, it's getting really late. I think we have about one hour to hike back. It's quite long, it will be a long night <laughs> once more again. It's, uh, but it's so beautiful that we have to use all the time up here in this beautiful mountain. As you see, the sun is still up. What do you think how Mutin is compared to Riten? Can't compare. <laughs> this is actually bad. <laughs> well, you have an answer. Lofoten versus Westerolen. <laughs> Car won't start. Oh my god. What should I do? It's the shock I need. Ah, and it's starting for sure. 